Hi, I'm Mark, and welcome to the current Outside Views report on Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine. The G7 group of Western economic powers wants to better protect Ukraine with long-term military and financial aid as long as it is not yet a NATO member. The United States, Germany and the five other G7 states have promised Ukraine, among other things, modern equipment for their air and naval forces. A corresponding declaration was signed at the end of the NATO summit in the Lithuanian capital Vilnius on Wednesday afternoon. However, it falls far short of the security guarantee that would be offered, for example, by joining NATO. Then, in the event of an attack, the military duty of all NATO states to provide assistance would apply. Although there's an opt-out clause, by the way. However, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky expressed his gratitude for the statement. The Ukrainian delegation brings home an important security victory for Ukraine, for our country, for our people, for our children. That's what he said at the meeting with the G7 leaders. After the agreement in principle with the G7, the leading Western industrialized nations, agreements would now be negotiated with the individual countries and multinationals. For Ukraine, the NATO summit ended with the G7 declaration on a halfway conciliatory tone. Zelensky suffered a bitter defeat on Tuesday because his demand for his country's invitation to NATO were not met. He criticized this sharply and spoke of a weakness in the West that played into Russia's hands. The invitation was blocked primarily by the United States and Germany, Ukraine's two most important arms suppliers, by the way. They want to allow the country attacked by Russia to join after the end of the war and further reforms at the earliest. British Defense Secretary Ben Wallace expressed dissatisfaction with Ukraine's criticism and entitlement on Wednesday. Like it or not, people want to see some gratitude, he said. Estonia's Prime Minister Kaya Kalas and US President Joe Biden, on the other hand, showed understanding. Of course, there was frustration on the Ukrainian side, understandably. Ukraine wants the peace that the NATO umbrella, for example, brings to our country, said Kalas. And Biden said, he knows Zelensky often gets frustrated when things don't move fast enough. He himself is looking forward to the day when Ukraine's NATO membership will be officially celebrated at a summit. The G7 agreement aims to equip Ukraine's armed forces to continue defending the homeland and, once the war is over, to be so strong that Russia will not dare further attacks. According to the document, modern equipment should also be provided in the air and sea areas. Air combat systems are mentioned as a key capability, without naming specific weapon systems such as fighter jets or armed drones. Which states wanted to provide which bilateral military aid remained open as well. A time perspective was also not given. So far, Germany and the other G7 countries have mainly supported Ukraine's land forces with arms deliveries. Western fighter jets and warships have not yet been delivered. Other points mentioned in the statement include supporting Ukraine's defense industry, but also training the armed forces and providing intelligence information. In addition, further financial help is also promised. We can never allow what happened in Ukraine to be repeated. And this statement reaffirms our commitment to ensure that they are never again subjected to the kind of brutality that Russia inflicted on them. That was said by British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak on the agreement. The Kremlin described the security promise of the G7 as a danger. We consider this to be an extreme mistake and potentially very dangerous. That's what President Vladimir Putin's spokesman Dmitry Peskov said on Wednesday, according to the Russian news agency in Moscow. If the plan goes ahead, these countries will make Europe a lot more dangerous for many, many years, he said. Yeah, of course, Peskov said that. And who is the danger? If you want to know more about current developments, the next video is right in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.